Here's a song everybody knows. Introducing a fuck coffee to the ring by his manager, Barry Moore. He fails from a test in Italy. He weighs in at 221 pounds. He is one half of the Italianos. Here is. Scordino here, one half of the Italianos, one of the most dominant tag teams in that region has ever seen. And you want to talk about bodyguards, talk about Gary Gambino, the man with the kendo stick, the enforcer for the Italianos. Uh, long time enforcer coming back. Gary Gambino, definitely a man you don't want to mess with. But then again, neither of you want to mess with Primo Scordino. Fortunately, at least for their opponents, Sick ball, Tony Carboni injured his hamstring. He's unable to compete here today, but Primo is still going to be in action. Singles match today here at Crossfire Wrestling. And uh, his opponent. popular tag team here at Crossfire Wrestling in their own right. I know, corner to corner there. Three out of four. Is he gonna go for number four? Yes, he is. Must not know where he is. He probably still thinks he's on Center Street in the Falls. Oh! Big suplex there. Marcus Ryan starting this match off hot. Crowd here solidly behind Marcus Ryan. As he goes for an early cover. Not enough to take down Little Lily. Primo into the corner. Primo moves out of the way. Nobody home there for the splash. And now Primo going on the second rope. Oh, big double axe handle. Takes down Marcus Ryan. But now Jin Long with a forearm. Taking advantage of his downed opponent. Zoom in on this. Oh. 
recover attempt here. Kick out at two. Both these men very experienced, not just in tag team wrestling, but singles wrestling as well. Now look at this. Great managing there, uh, Gary Gambino, taking advantage of the distraction from the referee, attacking Marcus Ryan. Custom, get away from Gambino, whatever you do. Uh, and King James are using his five count. Warning Primo, and look again. Again, the referee's distracted, and again Gambino. He was choking him there with some, some of his wrist tape, it looks like. Well, he hit the evidence before the referee could turn back around. And now he's got him right on the floor, right in front of Gambino. Eddie and James must have a clue that something's going on behind his back, but he can't prove it. Keeping his eye on Gambino now. Oh, wait a minute. It backfired there. Gambino hitting his own guy. Oh, and now Primo. Using the ring as a weapon here as he brings his opponent back into the ring. You know, we saw a tag team match as an opening contest. Singles contest, much more different. I mean, both these guys have trained for tag team wrestling, but they're familiar with the single style as well. You may train differently for each match, though. I mean, a tag team match, you get breaks, you get tagging your partner. Primo's in there on his own right now. Well, I should say on his own. Of course, he has his manager, Gary Gambino, and oh, hard kick right to the ribs. Oh, and another one. Primo, a force to be reckoned with. Oh, and those shoulders there, just taking the wind out of his opponent. Primo charging up, this could be something big here. Oh, too much time he took. Marcus Ryan, get out of the way. Oh, and now going to the arm. That arm that he just hit against the buckle, or against the pole, rather. Marcus Ryan's exhausted, but he knows that Primo's got a weak arm right now. Hopefully he'll be able to exploit that to his advantage the same way that Primo has exploited the referee. Oh, yeah. Marcus Ryan now firing back, blocking Primo's shots. And ducks one. Up oh, an atomic drop. And now another one, possibly yes it is. Oh, Primo's gotta be feeling that one. In the perennium area. Oh, Custom's calling for the end here. He's gonna hit his finishing move. Oh, wait a minute. Primo gets out, wrenches the arm, tries to send him for a ride, ripping a reverse, and a spine buster. What a move there. Oh, Marcus Ryan calling for the buckle. This could be his big frog splash. Oh, and Gambino's already up there on the ropes. Mar Marcus Ryan's probably had enough of this cheating ways. The referee getting in between these two. Trying to keep Gambino off the apron. He has no business getting involved in this match. And, oh, no, not again. The referee's distracted. Primo's got the kendo stick. Oh, oh, did you hear that crack off his head? Oh, and another one. The referee's not doing anything about it, and custom made man on his head. Definitely with the help of his manager, Gary Gambino. You know, 
I can understand the referee's old school. He's been refing a lot of years. He refs for 75 different promotions. So there's a chance he might have actually missed that first kendo shot. But I would be surprised to think that he would have missed that last one. I don't know, maybe his vision's not what it used to be. But that was a pretty clear kendo stick shot to the head. Unfortunately, there's no instant replay in wrestling. Primo Scorino is your winner. Hopefully Crossfire Management will look over the tape and realize Primo cheated with the help of Gary Gambino and maybe something will be done. Maybe a rematch will be in order. Of course, all of us at Crossfire Wrestling wish Stickball Tony Carboni a quick recovery from his hamstring injury. 